Hello, I'm RFX Smarts, and there's been a great amount of talk about a uh, coup d'etat in progress against the president, and I think it's actually very realistic that this could be happening. This article, by the way, is from 2017, so it's a little dated. But with the articles of impeachment having been written up, those aren't going to fly in all likelihood. In other words, they'll go to the Senate and they'll die in the Senate. May not even make it that far. Now, Schiff and his band of uh, unmarried men are very, very wicked people, and they intend to get rid of Donald Trump one way or the other. If they can't take him out uh, by impeachment, they're going to try to take him out. I believe in a violent coup d'etat. Now, how do I think they'll accomplish that? Uh, probably the special forces uh, from the military. Do you remember that Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman is basically a sock puppet of Am Schiff's? He's an Am Schiff sock puppet. He, uh, answers to Adam Schiff, doesn't answer the president, and I think it's clear that Adam Schiff controls probably a good chunk of the military around the area, around the D.C. area. So I would think it would probably be some sort of special forces strike, and what I want to talk about today is how we could recognize what's going on. It's not going to be easy. They're not going to tell us they're doing this because then there'll be a revolt right on the spot. So they're going to try to ob ob skew, obfuscate this. Tough word for me to pronounce. Obfuscate this. Uh, hide it, basically, from the public as much as they can. Rolling in tanks? I don't think so. But I could be wrong. At any rate, there are a couple things that they can do when they remove uh, the president. They could use this deep, deep fake technology. I'm still a little uh, skeptical of it, this deep fake stuff, because you know, I've looked at at least one of the videos and it just doesn't quite look natural. But they are getting better and better, and it's getting harder and harder to tell what's real and what isn't. So, one thing they can do is take the president out and use deep fake stuff to make it look like he's still in there. That's a very scary thought. I don't think it would fly, but... And throwing it out there is a possibility anyway. Another thing that you do is say, oh, you know, 25th Amendment, he's unfit to serve, we're going to take, take him out, he got found, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure that would cut it either. I think that would piss too many people off. But my guess is big thing they will have to do if they're going to take him out in a real coup, like not a soft coup, but a hard one, is they're going to have to take out lines of communication. Now, cell phones require cell towers, which are basically radio towers, and they're computer control and all that. Those could be jammed. I'm going to show you something, a movie that I made that a few people have watched. This is Utopia 2050. Uh, in this movie, I envisioned a coup d'etat by a very wicked woman, and she had a couple of thugs to help her out. Now, this is a brutal, brutal movie. I understand that. But I had to show 
uh, some things in it. I felt compelled to show it, and I couldn't soft soap anything. I still believe this could happen like this, too. I based this on the Green New Deal, and what they did in the movie is they made, they screwed up cell phones, they took down phone lines, they cut off the power, and more importantly, they basically went around to the gas stations uh, and sucked out the gasoline from all the tanks so nobody had any gas to drive anywhere. In part two, I'm going to show how we get around some of this to a limited extent. But the point here is, what they're going to try to do, I believe, is shut down as much in the way of communication as possible. They might conduct this coup with the cooperation of the media, you might not even know it, as they'll just tell, you know, Schiff would say to CNN, just show that everything's normal and leave it at that, and Trump will be taken out by these cycles. Yeah, they're cycles. Trump will be taken out by them. But I think more than likely they would have an official channel that they bring on, so-called official channel, and say, for the good nation, we're uh, taking charge. That's one thing they could do. Or they could just eliminate all the channels and say, this is the official TV channel from now on. Um, you're going to watch it. We'll give you all the news and information you need. We do think things like that. It's standard tyrannical stuff. But in this movie, what they do is they shut, like I said, they shut down cell phones and they stop people from being able to communicate. They shut off power, they took away the gasoline. So people were basically screwed. And they create a, these uh, zombies, basically, uh, using cell, cell phone transmissions, uh, high, ultrasonic uh, transmissions from cell phone, interacting with a drug that the kids get in the school lunches, and the kids basically become zombies and psychopathing around killing people. So what are the symptoms of a coup? I did try to look this up, and I really didn't find anything specific. But one thing I would watch for is deep fake stuff. Like I said, it doesn't really look natural to me. I think people would know the difference, but I'm not sh entirely sure about that. And... In my movie, what they did is they took a uh, look-alike and they replaced the president with him. The man looked bad. It was the president in the movie flees the country. It's either that or he's uh, toast because he's already been declared dead, if I remember. Uh, that's what it did. So the president flees country at any rate, and, you know, these two towns fight for survival against the zombies, basically. So communication is going to be the big problem here. I think that'll be the first thing they'll take away instead of your guns. So you go just mass taking away the guns, then they're going to have a revolution on their hands. Remember one thing about Schiff and uh, Nadler and company, these are some of the most wicked people on the planet. I have no doubt about that in my mind. Schiff is a wicked, wicked man. Alright, uh, 
So that's basically what I think they would do, though, is they'll try to shut down communications, maybe shut off power, all for your own good, of course. They're already uh, shutting down power in California. And if you see this stuff happening, you know, not a sporadic power outage where maybe you have a storm and knocks it out, but just right out of the blue, you start seeing power outages, cell phone doesn't work, right? You try to call out and say, sorry, can't get a hold of that number, that type of thing. That might be something that this is going down. Because again, the media is going to cover for them no matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they do, the media will cover for them. Okay, I went longer than I wanted to on this video. I'm trying to watch Utopia 2050 if you can. I think you'll find it both entertaining and enlightening. In part two, I'm going to discuss ways that we can restore a limited amount of uh, communication if this does go down, which I believe it will. But detecting it's going to be the hard part. You're going to see weird things happening, and it's going to look like the president's still in there, but he isn't. No likelihood. I don't think it'll be like in the third world where all the stuff is out in the open. You're on a little longer than I wanted to. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I'm going to get started on part two right away.